as the worship advanced into the heavenlies and the drummer began to play, I began to see color and liquid light coming off of the instruments. I prayed for revelation to see color and light and sound in a new dimension. And I began to see before me in the eye of my heart a pillar of cloud forming. And the cloud was purple and full of color and light. And as we worshiped and we sang holy, holy and worthy, worthy, colors began to form in the pillar of cloud according to the words we worshiped the Lord with. And as we sang worthy, yellow began to flash. And as we sang holy, greens and blues began to come. And the pillar of cloud became full of eyes, round and about. And I began to understand that this was the revelatory realm of heaven. And in that moment, I was transported by the Spirit. And I began to see in a new realm. And I was lifted up into a place surrounded by planets and stars. And I could see space unfolding before me. And I had an understanding that in my peripheral vision, things were taking place outside of the realm of my understanding. That my human mind and my human framework were not equipped to begin to take in the things that the Holy Spirit was beginning to unfold for me in this realm of the heavenlies. And then I saw a gold staircase and I began to ascend step by step and I sensed that the Lord was bringing me up to a place. And all around me was the galaxy and the universe unfolding. And as I reached the top, I looked down and I saw the earth, small and blue and green. And with it came the sense of a new perspective in worship. That the Father's desire was to lift us as worshipers to a place where we would see from a heavenly perspective. To see worship through his eyes and begin to release things in the earth. From that point, I was taken up again to a different realm, and the space and time began to melt away, and vapors began to fill my vision. And the universe, the blackness of it, and the brightness of the stars began to fade, and purples and vapors began to fill my understanding. And I saw clouds open before me, and heavenly creatures begin to amass before me. And I saw heavenly creatures like I cannot describe with natural words. And in the heavens there hung a cube made up entirely of heavenly hosts. And they moved as one being. And they cried out in worship, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And over to my left I saw spinning wheels, wheels within wheels. Angelic hosts making up the spinning wheels. And they were dipping and diving and spinning, wheels within wheels, wheels within wheels, and worship was rising from their very beings. And I felt myself being drawn in to the spinning of the wheels. And at once my spirit was one with the spinning wheels, and worship and revelation was coming off of them. And then I was taken to a new place. And I began to walk an invisible walkway through a large expanse of space. And there came alongside me an angel. First I saw only the angel's wing, and it was beautiful and shining, and had the appearance of being sharp, and I could see every detail pronounced, the spine on each segment of the feathers, and as I came past it, I was in a place that was neither space 
nor clouds, nor time, nor dimension. And revelation continuously flooded my being. It was so overwhelming to know that there was so much activity in this place that I couldn't perceive with my human soul or human mind, and yet my spirit was being flooded at all times with revelation. And I walked suspended in the midst of this place. And as I looked at the angel beside me, he was bright and shining and unusual, and his countenance and appearance had the look of something like a razor. I can't explain it, but somehow he was sharp and gleaming like a razor blade. And as I held out my hand, he placed in it a small disc like a wafer, and it was white and thin. And he said, take this and eat it, for this is some of the hidden manna. And I ate it, and at once I was alone. And I saw a platform hanging in this realm with pillars and columns all over it and, and blowing veils and hangings and there coming from the midst of that place, I saw him, Jesus. And he was bright and shining. And I knew that I was seeing the Lord revealed to me as the hidden manna.